hey guys it's me Catherine once again welcome back to my channel um, in this channel we talk about how to make money online and especially through freelance writing so and many other ways of making money online but I mostly focus on freelance writing that's my main gig gig currently <laughs> so I I feel like I I'm experiencing a lot in this industry so I thought to be sharing it with you sharing all the tips and the tricks that I'm learning along the way so if it's your first time here uh, I hope you like this content feel free to subscribe and uh, like this video if you like what I'm going to be sharing and in case um, yeah you don't like what I'm sharing yeah you can dislike <laughs> And then, uh, yeah, I hope you'll benefit from this. So today, I'm going to talk about how to land high-paying clients as a freelance writer, especially as a beginner with no experience. And specifically, I'm going to talk about Upwork, how to land high-paying clients on Upwork. So we're going to get straight into it. <clears throat> so in case in the background you hear a child crying or something like that, just know that's my son. And don't mind him mm, okay so in this video I'm going to also share about um, my own experience my own personal experience of how I landed a high paying client on Upwork as a total beginner when I just started freelance writing so stick to the end yeah because you're going to learn I believe you're going to learn a lot from that it's just my own experience but I believe there's a lot to learn from that so first of all, let's just talk about getting clients as a beginner, as a, as a newbie writer. It can be really tough. It can be really um, scary because first of all, you may have that imposter syndrome uh, feeling where you feel like you've never done this before. You've never written for a client and you're wondering how is it going to go? Will you do a good job? How do you even get these clients? Where do you get them? How do you apply for the jobs? And maybe some people tell you don't join job ad, job boards, especially Upwork, and they're like, um, those are not worth your time. So you're wondering, where exactly should I get these clients? So there are many things that may be going through your mind, and I get it because I was there um, as a beginner. But the thing is, uh, what I would say, what helped me overcome is that you know that determination that this thing has got to work. So you have to do what you have to do. So um, what I'm going to say is Upwork is a great website, a great job board for getting clients. I know most, I, I agree that most of the jobs that are posted there are low paying, low paying gigs, like, like really low. Maybe someone tells you to write a 1000 word article and they're going to pay you $5. That's pretty low. <laughs> but um, the truth is they're still high paying clients on Upwork they're, they're there they may be far between but it doesn't mean you should ignore the website just get in there try to look for those clients if you land any yay if you don't there are many other job boards like just keep spread your your, your wings wide like just try and look for jobs everywhere so Upwork is worth your time so check it out so that's the first thing i wanted to say then another thing um applying uh, getting high paying clients has a lot it's yes it's dependent on what the client already wants to pay you but also it depends with what you're going to offer if you're going to offer quality services as a freelance writer then yeah you're going to get higher paying clients so the the steps to, uh, to getting high paying clients on Upwork as a beginner are, I'm going to outline uh, five steps. So most of this I'm going to explain on my screen. So for now, let me just give you an overview of the steps, like what are the five steps? So the first thing is, first of all, sign up for Upwork because we're talking about Upwork. So sign up for Upwork, it's free to create an account there. So just go ahead and do it. I know sometimes, um, it's hard to get your account verified. So if you're having any trouble, just let me know in the comment section below. 
I'm going to connect you with someone who who knows more about like getting accounts verified. In a legit way, in a legit way, there's no black hat uh, tactics. No, just in, the, in a legit way, he's going to help you out. So in case you're having a problem getting your account verified, let me know in the comment section below. So when you're creating your, your profile, your, your account, when you're opening an account, make sure you use everything that's legit. Use your true name, use your correct address, your true address, every every information any details that you're going to fill in just make sure it's accurate so don't don't try and uh, be mischievous or anything that will not work out for you so okay then the second thing is start searching for jobs once your account is verified start searching for jobs on the platform so this one i'm going to give you uh like steps when you get to, to my screen then the next thing, choose jobs to apply for carefully because on Upwork, you need connects to apply for jobs. So when you first create your account, you'll get a few free connects. But um, once those are finished, you have to buy connects. It's normally um, uh, how many dollars? $1 for 10, for 10 connects or something like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, sorry about that. I wish I had water, but it's okay. So, um, okay, for if you have the ten connects, that can apply. For, that can that you can use that to apply for several jobs because some require two connects, some require four, some require six. It all depends on the the the, the kind of job you're applying for. So it means you need money to apply for jobs, but it's not too much. But I know when you're beginning, every coin counts. So yeah you have to be careful when you're applying for for your jobs so that's the third step carefully choose jobs on the site i'm going to give further details when we get on my screen then the fourth thing write a killer proposal write a proposal that a client cannot ignore okay i'll give you more further details then the last thing deliver pure gold as my teacher and mentor normally says Walter, he normally says deliver pure gold, meaning write the best article you can write when you're finally given the, the opportunity. Whether it's the trial article or whether you actually land the gig, just deliver pure gold. So those are the five steps. Sign up on Upwork, start searching for jobs, then choose the jobs you want to, 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 to apply for very carefully because you don't want to waste your connects. Then three, write a uh, four, write a killer proposal, and five, deliver pure gold. So I'm going to give you more details on this on each of these steps. Um, so st stick around. I'm going to show you on my screen, and then stick around to the end because I'm going to give you my own personal experience. I'm going to show you an example of the proposal I sent, so that I learned that helped me to learn a. A very high paying client, especially as a beginner, that was a very high paying client because he was paying me one hundred dollars to write one article. So stick around. Let's uh, head to my computer so that I can give you further details. Okay. Okay, guys. Now I'm back on my I'm on my computer now. So I'm going to give you more details on how to land um, high paying clients on Upwork as a total newbie. Yes, without any experience, without any prior experience. And I'm going to share with you um, how I landed a client who was paying, was paying me $100 per article. Uh, I've not a, Okay, the length of the article was, uh, they were mostly 1500 to 2000 watts. So $100 for that is pretty good for a beginner. I was a total beginner, pure beginner. And a newbie, and that's really good. Actually, it's good even for uh, for any freelance writer. It's not bad. It's it's a good pay. So that's what I'm going to be sharing with you about. So forgive my lighting. My I hope my audio is clear. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I I hope you can see me. But anyway, the point is that you see my computer. I'm doing this for the first time, recording my screen, my computer screen. So I hope this goes well. So bear with me. But let's get right into it. So we say the first step uh, of um, earning freelance uh, high-paying clients is first of all on Upwork. 
So first of all is creating an account on Upwork. So this is Upwork. Okay, this is my 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 feed. So when you create, when you go to the start, uh, when when you want to create your account, you won't have this page first. But creating an account on Upwork is not so hard. If you want me to explain that, give you details on that, I can do that on another video. But for now, let's just yeah, let's get to the business of the day. So this is your Upwork uh, feed once you've created your account. So the thing is, you may not have all these jobs here, this list of jobs. You can see this list uh, because, okay, it may be blank or you may have this list. But when you want to like generate uh, a list of jobs, what you need to do is search for jobs here. Go to this uh, search box and search for jobs. Uh, so you can type here content writing, content writing. I'm doing this with one hand because I'm holding my book on the other hand. But yeah, so I hope uh, I may take a bit of time, but don't worry. Content writing, you can click on this and then it will give you options. I think my internet is really, really slow. So let's just go back to where we were. Okay. Yeah, we have examples. Okay. Let's just go back to my feed. So more jobs came up. Um, so I was going to explain to you uh, what to do when you're searching for jobs. So as I've said, you search search for jobs on this uh, uh, box, right? You can use the, the filters. Um, Okay, when you write your details here, when you write the detail like what I wrote, content writing, you'll have a selection of filters so that you can, like, this is what I, I used to get this list. I use article and blog writing, creative writing, web content, other writing, and all that. So that's what I included after you've written, um, like, one thing on this search box. So you'll get this list of jobs. So there are so many, you can load as many as you want. So we said after you've uh, created your account, the first thing, search for jobs. So how do you choose? The, the third thing is choosing jobs carefully. So how do you choose jobs? The first thing that is clear, very clear is choose clients that have their payment verified. And th that's going to show using this blue badge. If you can see this blue badge, I hope you can see my cursor with a tick inside. It shows payment verified. So those are the clients you want to work with because you can be sure that they will pay you. You won't get scammed. <laughs> you know, getting scammed is real. Um, I've never been scammed, but it's real, yeah. So be careful you don't get scammed. And actually, I've written an article about avoiding getting scammed as a freelance writer. I'll share with you that later. So make sure you so like don't go for don't go for this payment and verified. Uh, preferably go for this with payment verified. The next thing is the um, so when you select let, let me just go to one that I selected that we are going to uh, dissect. When you select a job uh, ad make sure it wasn't posted too long ago. Like this one was posted three hours ago. That's not too long ago. Although, if you can get it, uh, if you can you can get the job, the, you can go for the job ads that were posted just a few minutes ago, that would be the best uh, case scenario. But in this case, it's still, three hours is still not too far, but what can help you also make a better decision is check the number of proposals. Just scroll down, check the number of proposals that have already been sent. Like this are less than five. That's a good thing. It means not so many people have applied for it. So you have a higher chance of your proposal, first of all, being read. You know, clients get a lot of proposals. So uh, if there are too many, maybe some clients may not read all, all the proposals. So when there are fewer proposals sent, you have a higher chance of your proposal being read. Therefore, a higher chance of landing that um <clears throat> learning that gig but in this case there's already one person who's been hired so most likely this client is no longer looking for another writer but we are just still going to use this as an example okay so that's the first thing check the time that it was posted if it's uh, too far ago uh, too many yeah a long time ago check the number of proposals aim for less than five is ideal less than 15 is also good it's fine yeah 
the next thing read the the job uh, the job posting itself and then decide whether you you can do this this job you can write the article that the client wants in this case writer needed for blog posts related to wordpress so the client says i'm looking for a writer to come up with topics and write articles for our industry we're in the web development field specifically wordpress and woocommerce your role uh, would be to come up with engaging topics and also write 1500 to 2500 word blog posts on them you must have knowledge in wordpress to qualify for this job uh, please provide me your rate and pricing for ongoing blog posts on a weekly or monthly basis. Use the code BM dash to be considered. So as, after you read that, you'll, you should think like, okay, so can you write on arti write articles about WordPress or WooCommerce? Um, okay, um, they're saying you must have knowledge in in WordPress to qualify for this job. So that's something to think about. Uh, do you have knowledge on WordPress? in wordpress um you may not necessarily you may have a bit of knowledge it just depends on you like gauge how much knowledge you have concerning the topic that they're talking about you don't have to be 100 percent like you don't have to be an expert per se i know they are looking for an expert here but you don't have to be an expert the thing is you have to be confident and you have to at least have some form of knowledge about what the client wants and be ready to do further research so you've looked at the job uh, the job posting the details and you're confident okay i can try this don't be afraid don't don't this may be the first job you're applying for don't don't be too worried about it just be confident so if you think you can try it you know give yourself the chance then after you've done that check the required connects so go to the side here on the right and okay i already applied for this job actually i already submitted a proposal so we can't see the number of connects needed but i think there were six there's something about the number of connects that you need uh, from my own experience i'm not so sure if this is accurate or not but from my own experience i've actually noticed that the more number of connects um a job posting requires the higher the chances of that client paying you know like a, a better better rates so if you see uh, many connects needed and you think you can do the job don't shy away don't feel like you're going to waste your connects just try it out sometimes it means that their rates are high but also sometimes it just means it's more of a long-term gig so they're going to pay a lot of money in the long run but it's 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 not a bad sign if they they require so many connects so yeah that's it then okay the next thing we're just going to go through this uh the details that that you're going to look at if you see this uh not to, okay the, the the client requires an expert don't don't let that uh, uh make you uh, like not apply for this job because um if sometimes some clients write that they require an expert but you may be able to do the job you know even if you're a newbie even if you're a beginner you may be really good at what the client wants and so don't let that put you off okay yes then look at the like here they want look at the questions that the client has asked over here you will be asked to answer the following questions when submitting a proposal number one please share some articles you wrote that relate with wordpress so in this case you would need samples that are relating to wordpress if you still want to apply for this job and you don't have samples, go ahead, by all means, submit the, uh, the articles that you have, but be sure to tell the client that you don't have specifically uh, articles on WordPress, but like they should check out your your other samples. So just just try out. You can, you can never know. You can never know. Okay. So the things, the another thing to look at is the percentage of high, uh, percentage higher the higher rate of this client so check it out over here on the right in this case uh this client has 60 percent higher rate that's a good um, percentage more than 50 is good because it means that out of all the people who normally or out of all the jobs that this client pays he ends up hiring um 60 percent of the 
he ends up hiring people from up work 60% of the time. So that means there's a high chance this client is going to hire someone here because there are some clients who tend to just always post and um, the compared to the number of people who apply for the jobs or the number of jobs that they post, they don't hire writers on Upwork. So you may get like someone, someone has a 20% higher rate. That's not a very good sign unless you're so, so confident about like your samples and what, but otherwise look for a high, higher rate. Then look at the total spend, how much money this person has spent. The more they spend, the better, but it doesn't mean that if someone hasn't spent a lot of money that uh, they won't be a good client. Just uh, It also depends on when they, start, they got on Upwork, so remember since which date. Then also another key thing to look at is this um, rate per hour, the average hourly rate paid by this client. In this case, it's 19.67, that's in dollars, and that's that's really good. Um, if someone has like less than 10, that's a sign that they're a low paying client. So uh, be mindful of that when you're applying. And then also check, I forgot to mention, check their reviews. In this, in this case, he has a 4.64 uh, rating, star rating. That's, that's really good. Out of 4, 45 reviews, that means this client is good. So that's it. Then also check preferred qualifications. Um, this signs the tick, the the yeah the check the check mark and the exclamation. These are all dependent on your profile. So um, it will depend on what your profile shows. So at least ninety percent. Mine is at least ninety percent. I think mine is a hundred percent currently. The job success score. Uh, but even if they have an exclamation mark, the only thing. And then the, the only thing that will happen is once you click on submit proposal at the top, uh, Upwork will notify you that you don't meet all the, the the qualifications. But if you're confident or you're willing to try, still send the proposal. Don't let that deter you. That's it. So those are the things you look at when you want to choose uh, the job, the the jobs to apply for. Basically, look at all these. Uh, I've, I've touched on almost all the sections, so make sure. Okay, I know I've talked, I've, I've spoken and given so much, so many details. So you can go back, you can rewind this video and listen up, or you know, take notes. Yes, uh, that's it. Then um, the next thing we said is write a killer proposal. Write a killer proposal. That's where the rubber meets the road. When you click on submit a proposal, in this case, I, did, I already did. I, I'm not the one who got this job. One was hired, but I'm not the one who got it. But still, I, this is where you're going to click submit a proposal. So when you're writing a proposal, there are things you have to look out for. I think I'll have a video giving more, more details on, you know, writing a perfect proposal. But I will give you an overview of what a perfect, a killer proposal entails. One, you have to, first of all, the, let me just talk about the first step is how you address the, the client. So it's better to address the client by name. And how? where do you get their name? If in the job posting they haven't mentioned their name, just scroll down and see the other jobs that the client had uh, has already done, has already given other freelancers and try and see if someone mentioned their name. So like in this case, jobs in progress, this is, yeah, client's recent history. Jobs in progress here, um, they haven't mentioned client was a, a pleasure to work with. This one, there was no feedback, view more, good communication and fast response, thanks. So in this case here, Henry is kind and uh, a professional. So that means the client is Henry, but don't stop there. Scroll down to just make sure again that maybe get another place. Yeah, Henry contracted me for a sample half rate job. You know, that shows that the client is actually called Henry. So when you start writing your proposal, make sure you start with, hi, Henry, something like that. It's good because, uh, you know, when, when you mention someone by name, it's, it's, it's um, everyone likes being being known, so it shows that you've taken time to find out who this person is. So it's it's it may be a simple thing, but 
it's good to do. Otherwise, if you don't get their name, just write hi, hi there, something like that. Then the next thing is uh, find out what they wrote. Okay, identify their specifications in the in the job posting. So read the posting again. In this case, uh, they want someone who has knowledge on WordPress and WooCommerce. So make sure you, you, you mention that in your proposal. Like something like I have ex I have experience or I have knowledge on WordPress and WooCommerce. And then they also want you to mention your rates and pricing for ongoing blog posts. So make sure you mention that in your proposal. And then use code bm dash dash to be considered so make sure as you're writing your proposal maybe you can include this code at the beginning this is just a week clients uh, use to make sure you actually read their their job listing okay so the point is address the different things that the client has talked about or mentioned in their job posting that is very important i cannot overemphasize that don't use could not copy paste uh, people's uh, proposals. Even if you use someone else's proposals, make sure you um, tweak it a bit and it, um, and ensure it meets the the requirements that the client has mentioned. So that's it. That's the main thing. And then uh, the next thing, the next big thing is including samples because when you click on submit a proposal, let's just click on any job here and then we click on submit proposals here require content writer for economic social media pages uh so like if i click here submit a proposal okay sorry it's taking some time but yeah so it's it's open now uh when you submit your proposal you see you just have like in this case you just have the uh, the cover the, the space for cover letter there's no place that the client has asked basically give me your samples, but make sure you include your samples here at, after you write hi, so and so, dash, 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 what you wrote. Make sure you, you include your samples, okay? And then, uh, then another, another thing is your rates. I often don't use hourly payment, but the, even if they, they have an, they require, they've written the hourly payment, write what you want, what you want your reach to be. And then in this case, this client said, specify your rates. So if they specify, if they say that specifically, specify your rates, include that in your cover letter, include your rates in the cover letter. As you can see, what, I'm, uh, what I keep saying is refer to the job posting and write what the client requires, okay? Yes, that's it. And then the samples, Make sure your samples are, you know, include your best samples. Yeah, and then that's it. Mm. And the final thing, I was just checking what I wrote. I wrote down the points. So the final thing, be confident because it will come through in your proposal. If you're not confident, you'll start using some words that will show your lack of confidence. So just be confident and don't feel scared because once you get your first client, you'll be, and then it's a high paying client, you'll be so excited and so happy. So now I'm done. I know I've spoken for so long. Sorry about that. But the final thing, which I promised you, I'll show you my exact uh, proposal that landed me a client that was paying me a hundred dollars per article. And that was when I was a total newbie. So First of all, to prove, I know people like <laughs> proof of many things online because you want to be sure that, yes, I was a newbie and that is the amount that I got from the client. So this, I want to prove that I was actually a newbie. So this is the, this is the time I started freelance writing in June. That's when I did uh, the freelance writing training by Walter Akolo. Uh, that was my trainer, uh, he's still my mentor and all that. So I, I'm just showing you the email that he sent me to show that um, I'd paid for the course and now I was ready to begin, confirm my subscription. That was in June, on June 7th, 2019. You can see it here on the side of the email. So if I signed up June 7th, that it took one month. So probably by the end of June, 
So July, that's when I was done and that's when I actively began applying for jobs. I think I had started kind of applying for the jobs while doing the training, but I actively began after the course. So that's in July. And then the client I'm talking about, this is a client. I have already opened the pages. This is the client. And as you can see here, this job ad was posted August 5th. 2019 you see i did the course june on in june 2019 and this was august so i was like two months old or we can say one month old after my training and this client um, how i'll show you i'll show you okay this the job the job uh, posting is really long but content writer needed for marketing company so this is the job ad and I'm going to give to show you the, okay, this is the job ad. I'm going to show you the messages. Let's just come to my inbox. I'm trying to be as transparent as I can with you guys. I'm trying to be as honest as I can because I know people, when you're beginning, it's quite tough and you want to be sure and you want to see evidence and what, what. So yeah, you see Friday, August 9th, that's when I sent my proposal. Hi guys. Okay. I guess we should read first the job the job ad. Um, we are a marketing company based in the UK looking for a content writer to join our creative team. We offer content marketing services to tech companies and you will be paid with one client, um, paired with one client to begin with. This is a long-term ongoing engagement and you should have the capacity to produce anywhere from one to five high quality articles per week requirements. Those are the requirements. Then responsibilities, produce one to five articles every week, 1,500 to 2,000 words. Okay, this is pretty long. I think you can take, you can pause here and read this. But I don't want to take your time too much. So you can pause here and read this. Then um, this is the proposal I sent. Hi, guys. Uh, what I said, guys, so I think I didn't um, I didn't find the client's name, but I am the content writer you're looking for. I'm a versatile content creator. I love reading and writing informative and engaging articles. Why did I say this? Going back to the uh, job ad, I think they mentioned something like that. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if they did, but we, we, okay you will read the, the job ad, but I have experience writing for small businesses. My writing is always thoroughly researched, creative, and well edited. I can write up to five articles per week and will always keep time and beat deadlines. So I tried to mention the things that they talked about in the job ad. And I, you know, I talked about them in my my proposal and then i give my pricing my price for one post is, uh, of 1500 to 2000 words is 100 dollars. you guys i was a beginner at this point but i was like i need to get high paying clients so don't be afraid to ask for the high rates okay don't be afraid to ask for the high rates then i gave my three samples here are some of my latest writing samples and guys the as we say writing your samples you should just write on any uh, get a topic and start writing on it so in this case i had one from it was a guest post i wrote for my uh, trainer for his website that's freelancer kenya then this this was a friend um someone who had hired me locally and i wrote for um, his website and that's that's one of the samples and then this one i wrote for myself and posted it on linkedin uh so I have a video where I, I, I mentioned that you should have samples when you're beginning freelance writing. So those are the samples I gave. You see, none of this was like for a client per se. You get, you get it. So have your samples ready and, and then post them. So I posted the ad, the, the, the proposal and this so the person replied. Hi, Catherine. Thanks for applying. As part of our pro process, we'd like you to undertake a paid assignment. Could you create one article on the following topics? Then they give me the details. Yes. And I wrote it. Um, I said, glad to hear back from you. They said that he wanted me to write an outline. So I said, I'll have the outline ready by Monday. Yes. Basically, the thing is, I, I eventually got there. I eventually, okay, you want to see me getting the, <laughs> getting the job. So sent an offer. Yeah, you see the client sent an offer and see what he funded. Um, he funded the budget is $100. You see? 
So that's that's it, guys. It just that's that's my my proposal that landed me a hundred dollar per article client. So I won't send you a copy of this proposal. I know you can sit here, you can write it down, but the thing is, don't necessarily copy it word for word if you want to use such a proposal. As I say, don't copy paste any proposal. Tailor make it for the job ad you are, are applying for, but keep the the uh, yeah keep certain things in mind like addressing the requirements that the client wants. Yeah, so that's it. That's how I landed a hundred dollar per article client when I was a total newbie two months or one month into freelance writing. Yeah, that's it, guys. Um. Thanks for watching the video, <laughs> for watching my content. I hope you've learned something. I hope uh, this has helped you. Um, uh, yes, just know you can land high pink clients on Upwork and you can learn, learn high pink clients as a newbie. That's the whole point. And um, so that's it for now. Uh, guys, uh, goodbye. Uh, make sure to subscribe. I hope you've enjoyed the content. If you like more of such content, um, yeah, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when I have other videos coming up. And stay tuned. Sorry, I know this took so long. I, I'm, I'm just beginning this, you know, making videos and all that. So I think I need to learn how to, you know, make, make things brief. But I hope this has benefited you. So goodbye for now. Leave a comment section below. Comment in the comment section below. <laughs> okay, bye. I think I'm rambling now. Okay, bye.